Let's take an inside look at the Commerce HQ apps and what you can look forward to when you get in there. I'm shooting this in 2020. This is going to be, I keep making changes, so if anything gets added, I'll do an update. But before I show you the apps, in, in just a moment, if you'll stick with me, I'll show you how you can get a special version of Commerce HQ that will give you six stores and a database of over 700 hot products that are being updated every month. So let's jump into the inside of, of a store and I'll take give you a look at some of the apps. This is one of my active stores and you can see uh, I had an issue with a supplier. He basically I ran out of products so I wasn't able to sell like I wanted to. But look at this, I mean, able to build it back up as the inventory started coming back in. Look at these add to cart numbers and reach checkout and, and purchase order. These are, I'm, I'm running $3, $5 Facebook ads and getting results like this. So it's still working. Anybody that says drop shipping's dead is completely out of their mind. Let's jump over to one of my uh, newer stores that I've just been messing around with. And you can see as soon as you log into Commerce HQ, they've got a simple store setup checklist that you go through to get your store set up. So you can have your store completely set up in a day and have products on there and actually launch even your product ads in the same day if you wanted. And there is training that's provided. Let's jump into the app. So right here, if you click into the dashboard, you'll see it'll show you the ones that you access most often. But if you click here on all tools, you get the, the main uh, menu bar here. So you can see, it's a, to me, it's a lot cleaner than, than Shopify and WooCommerce. It gets a little confusing sometimes. You've got everything you need in here. So, but in this demo, I'm going to show you the Apps Store. So let's click into the App Store. And you can see you can even add your own private apps if you want to. The only one that I have added here is Dropified. And I think, yeah, so if you're using Dropified, you'd add it here with the uh, Add Private App function. So any of these that you want to install, these are all free and they're all included with your $99 a month plan, except for this accelerator app. And in just a minute, I'll tell you how you can get that accelerator app for the same price. But you just come down through here, you can see these are all the, the main important uh, apps that you want to have that you'd want to install like on any store, you know, like you would on Shopify. You just don't have to pay extra for each one. So you have your recent purchase notification and that's just a little notification. It pops up down here in the lower left corner of your page on your product pages or actually you can tell it where. Let's just install it here real quick and I'll show you. And then you want to configure it. You just click on configure and you can tell it to rotate through all the purchase data for the last hour, you can change that. You know, if you're not getting, if you're just starting, you're not getting very many, maybe you want to spread that out over more hours. So you could say, you know, 48, 48 hours, you know, to, if you don't have very many orders, get that to show up. You can have it delay for the first notification. So, you know, it doesn't show up as soon as they land on the page. You might want to make that a little bit longer, especially if they're on a mobile device because it, on some mobile devices, it might kind of cover up part of your product image or something, depending on the on the phone that they're on. And then you can set the interval between times that they pop up and you just save that and it's done. So now when someone goes to your product page, a little notification will pop up. It'll say this person, uh, someone purchased this, you know, and then the name of the product and it'll show a tiny image of the product. And some people say that that doesn't work and it, it does work. They just maybe they're not getting enough traffic or not getting enough sales because I I get orders every once in a while I'll get a, a an order someone goes through the store they come to the store through Facebook you know and they see or they come from Google search or YouTube and they see the product and then they search around the store and they buy something something that I'm not running ads for anywhere and then over the next couple of days I I get several orders for that same product the reason for that is once they buy it, it starts showing up on the, on the product pages, you know, for the products that I am running ads on. So people are seeing it pop up down here. They're clicking on it, going to that product page, and they're actually buying. Let's go back to the to the apps, and I'm going to keep this shorter. I mean, I'll do a longer longer one for each individual app. But I'll just talk you through the ones that we have. Quantity left. This just 
it's a little thing that pops up and says if you if you set the quantity on a product, say you know how how many your supplier has, or if you have them in stock and you're shipping them out, you can put the quantity on there, and it will count down and show your customers how many are left. A timer widget. So if you're going to run a sale or anything like that, you can install a timer. They these are and these are all included. There's no extra. If you install these, you don't pay any more each month. Whatever you're paying for your plan, if you're paying for the $99 a month plan, that's all you pay on e-commerce, on Commerce HQ. You have your promotional bar, which puts a little bar across the top of the page. And you can put something up there like, you know, when you have a special, like free shipping today on orders over $80 limited time or, you know, anything like that. Buy, buy two items and get free shipping you know, anything promotion you want to do, you put that in the promotional bar. Then you have the lead capture overlay. What that does is pops up a little window over the page. If they try to leave, it will ask them to put in, you can offer them a discount for their, if they sign up for your newsletter, right? So that's a uh, lead capture overlay. Zapier, if you, so you can combine Zapier with practically anything you want, any of the apps, if you want to use Google Sheets for anything to, to pull in, your order data, things like that into a sheet if you want to integrate it with a um, an email provider that's not natively integrated with Commerce HQ, you can do that. So anything you want to integrate with uh, Zapier, you can do it right here just by installing this app. The next step is the checkout timer. So you can have, a if you're offering a special discount in your cart or as a special price, you can say that, you know, the items in your car are available at this price for 10 minutes, for example, and it'll do a countdown. Then it has some really nice security badges that are installed in Commerce HQ and actually choose different ones. And then, of course, you have the Facebook dynamic product catalog feed. So you can do, you can retarget anyone that comes to your store with this feed. You just connect this up on Facebook and you run a, a catalog, uh, a dynamic product catalog, uh, ad, you know, campaign and retarget them. So anybody that comes to your store in the last seven days, show them whatever product they saw in when, you know, when they did come to your store. So if they browsed around your store and they looked at two or three products, well, Facebook will show them those two or three products. If you set it up as a carousel, which is really nice. Then you have the reviews app. So if you've seen apps like Looks, uh, it's very similar to that. You can import reviews. You can add them manually if you get them, but it will also send out emails to request. You can set the time period for when you want to send out a request for a review. And what I do is offer a discount if they uh, send in, if they upload an image with their review. I send them like a 20% discount on their next order. It's really nice. Shipping Plus is another um, another app for setting up specific shipping rates on you know different products, so you don't have to have you know broad uh, shipping rates. You know the same shipping rate on every product. You can have individual pricing for each product. So if you have some products that you know cost you more, you just go on there and you set a specific shipping rate for that specific product. Then, of course, if you're going to be migrating from Shopify, we have a there's a um, this app here, Platform Migrations, that allows you with a couple of clicks, you put in your URL for your Shopify store, and Commerce HQ will import all of your products, all of your collections, all of uh, everything, all of the existing orders that are in there, everything that you have, all of the products, everything, it imports everything right over to Commerce HQ. And you just, I mean, in, in a day, basically, depending on how big your store is and how many orders you have. My first Shopify store that I imported over to Commerce HQ I had a little over 25,000 orders on it. So it took a while. I think it, it actually timed out after a, a, like eight hours and I just contacted the uh, customer service desk and they got it going again for me. So the next one, you have the product customizer. So if you have a customizable product, they can put their name on it or their dog's name or, you know, their birth date, their 
anniversary date, things like that, this is what the product customizer will do for you. Then you have print on demand. And right now it, it's integrated with custom cat. So any of the custom cat products that you want to run on your store, you can import that if you like print on demand products, which is really nice. And that those get, you can set those to, you can fulfill them manually when they come in. You just click a button and send the orders to custom cat or you can set it to do it automatically so it's <clears throat> completely hands off. Then you have the currency converter app, which will it'll it'll recognize their geographical IP location. So if they see they're in Canada, it'll show them the prices in Canadian dollars. If they see that they're in Australia, it'll show them the prices in Australia. Just like that. It's a really, really neat app. Then you have the URL redirects. So this is where you can create you know, the product links can get pretty long. So what you can do with redirects is you can create short links and redirect people directly to a, to a product. Or if you remove a product or it's, you know, you run out of inventory, but you want to send them to a similar product, you can temporarily redirect people to a different product, which is really nice. ShipStation allows you to, if you're using a warehouse, you know, the warehouse a lot of the warehouses will use ShipStation to connect to your store. So they can connect to your store, download all of your orders, and fulfill them for you. So I used to use um, uh, $1 Fulfillment out of Utah. And they I just installed ShipStation. They would connect to my store each day and fulfill all my orders for me. So it was like completely hands-off for me. It was beautiful. The next one is your email marketing sync. So right now they, they integrate with these four different email mark, uh, email service providers, uh, Clavio, Infusionsoft, MailChimp, and Active Campaign. But like I say, if you want to use Zapier, you can use any one you want, basically. And then you have the Accelera Accelerator app, which is not available to everyone. And it will actually build your store for you and it has a database of many products. I'll do another video. Actually, if you look around right now, you you may see a link pop up. It'll take you to my Accelerator app uh, review, where I actually go through it a little bit more in depth and show you part of the product catalog and how many products are actually in there. It's amazing. They update it every month. And not only does it have 700, over 700 products in there, but they do all the product research. They create a product video for you. They write three versions of ad copy for you. They give you the Facebook ad targeting and all the product description, which is nice. That's always been a pain in, in my rear is writing product descriptions. I just don't like it. So then you have the Google Shopping fee. So if you want to run Google Shopping ads, you just connect it here with the Google Shopping fee, uh, Google Shopping feed, and you run your Google Shopping ads. Really nice. And then webhooks. I haven't used this yet, but I mean, if you know any use for it, you've got the the webhooks. I think some uh, some email service providers use webhooks, so maybe you could use it, maybe for something like that. And that is all of the all the apps in the Commerce HQ store. So if there is one. And, you know, specifically that you want me to go further into detail, you want to see the insides of and see what it looks like on the store. Drop me a comment down uh, below the video here and tell me which one you want to see. Or if you want to see multiple, let me know and I'll do uh, I'll do a little bit further uh, in-depth video on those. If you like this video, be sure and subscribe. I would appreciate that very much and like the video. And if you if you you know know someone that actually wants to get into drop shipping or they're getting sick and tired of Shopify and the downtime and uh, the expensive apps and everything. You know, there's one point I was paying $280, $289 a month for uh, just for my apps on my Shopify store. So I was going, you know, on top of my regular Shopify fee. You know, send it, share this video with them. So now let me show you uh, Commerce HQ. If you're thinking about getting Commerce HQ, this is where you can get Commerce HQ. They offer a 14-day free trial, and it includes one store. So this is, if you don't know anybody, and you go here, you're going to be paying $99 a month. That does not include the Accelerator app, but it does include all the other apps. And it's $99 a month, and you get a 14-day free trial. Now, if you refer, if you refer a friend to the store, you can get your friend up to three stores with the uh, 
referral link. So this is $99 a month. You still get the same free day trial. I'll leave a link to this down below if you want the trial and you want three stores, but you don't want the accelerator app, look for the link that says CHQ trial. Now, so I have I have been on Commerce HQ for a long time, for many years. And I've, I have this special page for you right here where you can get video lessons. So it's actually a training, training included, live Q&A calls, the Accelerator app, and Commerce HQ for $99 a month. And it includes six stores. And normally, if you go through this other link here, you can upgrade later to the Accelerator app for $299 a month. But if you sign up through my special link down below, dropsolo.com forward slash CHQ, you can get this special deal where you can get six stores plus the Accelerator app and, and the training. And you get all the apps, all the apps that are included with all the training. And it's all right here. And there I am right there. You can even come down here and watch my review video. This is my good buddy, Edgar. We were actually there together. Here's Chase Bowers. He chases the, he owns a uh, Dropified. He was there. I got to meet him. That was a great experience. And all these other people, some of these, some of these people you may recognize, but Check out the link down in, in the description. I'll put a review video going more in depth on the accelerator. And if you like it, remember, be sure and subscribe. Again, this is William, and this has been the Dropshipping Report.